Hey guys, it's J19 brought to you in our video and today I am finally back. I'm feeling much better. Uh reason why I have not been recording any videos or going live. Um I had another stomach virus and the good news is I'm feeling much better. Um I haven't I having some issues with a family member. Um they are in the hospital, they're gonna have like a major surgery. So I've been dealing with that too. So this week has been really like bad for me. So it's like, I apologize for no uh, for content, but we're going to check out the launch trailer of God of War Ragnarok, and we're also going to check out the gameplay footage that, God, uh, that Sony and uh, Santa Monica has given us about a week ago, I think, a few days ago. So I'm a little behind. I want to check that out, and uh, I think I'm feeling good enough to record this video today. So with that said, if you guys want more God of War Ragnarok coverage, feel free to like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification so they know if I go live. I'll upload my next video. With that said, let's uh let's look into this. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fem Winter leads to Ragnarok. Oh man. War is coming. We don't really want war. All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. This is great. We will make our own destiny. Short and sweet. I love it. I love it, guys. When companies do this for a launch trailer, you don't have to spoil the game, right? That's, that's stuff we've seen from the, the story trailer, correct? So, like, I am so happy with that. I'm so happy that this is a nice, hyped-up trailer of stuff we already saw to get us ready for, what, 12 more days, guys, until this game launched. So, that's great. That's a great trailer. Um, short and sweet. Definitely loving that. Let's, uh, let's check out this gameplay. One, two, three. Let's go. Sick. From a combat perspective, I always, and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War is combat. So sick. Oh, I just chopped off his head. Boy, I can't wait, guys. 12 more days. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to stream it for you guys. I'm looking forward to it. All my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Wynn, and I'm a gameplay animator. Hi, I'm Sabra, and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of War Ragnarok. Awesome. My name is Grace Pan, and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Steven Ohio with GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable creatures Ooh. that players like to attack and defend. Sick. I can't wait. As an animator, you gave life to characters. You make them move, you gave them personalities, you gave them weight. Put a smile on my, my face. My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. Oh, I love the environment. Control of fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to oh, yeah, I agree. that a character or enemy makes. I work really closely with the design team and the tech art team. Oh, sick. New enemies. Specifically. We actually work a lot with camera, along with the guidance of our great camera team, so I find myself doing fight choreography sometimes. Uh. That is like writing creatures. The parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between. I like how the enemy variety is so good. Oh my god, that looks sick. Focus and really try hard against that enemy and feel good about overcoming that. But we don't. Oh, he does like lightning attacks. Interesting. And then it feels rewarding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. For sure. After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, and enemy variety. And this time, we really leaned into that. Oh yeah! So Thank you for listening to our uh, complaints. And each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. For oh. example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, we're going to be fighting light elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. Sick! I love that. One of the key learnings from the last God of War game 
is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is gonna feel. We already have that knowledge, so we can build upon the close camera that we have, and we can iterate on enemies, creating more interesting scenarios. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos, and he was learning from the master tactician. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God. war, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. Oh wow, that's cool. That's so sick. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the god of war. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger. Oh man, the moves are so sick. Be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. Oh man. Oh, so he's sick. More powerful, he's going to have access to newer combos and newer abilities. That's what I like to see. Increase the combat. That's so sick. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very That's so, so sick. Combo-wise, my goodness. Traversal moves, that brings so much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos' combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to his shield loadout. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited nice, about is these like combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. You're going to be able to oh, choose sick. You know, which weapon you want to have when you kill a guy. Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. That's sick. There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more and be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companions... I can't wait. That looks so good. Like, Atreus is... Yeah, Atreus looks way better. Wait, in combat. Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Not only that they fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot more collaborations between father and son. Good. Oh man. So much that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the person. This game could play. be a game of the year. Basically every department gives it their all. It sounds like they are going, they're going hot and heavy with this game. And I'm like, I'm all for it. I'm hyped. I cannot wait to get my game in the controller on launch. I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. For the old father! Our design philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess, and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has nice. its own theme and its own use. You need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for the player. Sometimes we add a signature audio cue, or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable, you need to dodge it. There's so many different ways that the effects really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. Oh man. Everything you design has to be surrounding the essence of the character and a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. 
I think oh, what man. I'm excited about is for players to experience I can't wait. the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. Yeah, it looks sick. You will be fighting everything from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. All of their designs run the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen that you're going to play and experience has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and is fun to play. I can't wait. Oh, everything I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, looks so sick. Like even the enemy variety is like, like three times the amount, three times the amount. Holy crap! I'll just let that play in the background. But yeah, that's uh, that's great. Mwah. Like I am so satisfied with this. Like I definitely wanted to ch check this out like a few days ago when it came out, but it's like. I was sick and all that, but yeah, this is this has definitely got my hype levels even more higher. Like so I'm already hyped for this game. It's like they, this has the, this has the the feel to even beat out Elden Ring for Game of the Year. I know a lot of people said no, Elden Ring's got it in the bag. El, you know, God of War right now, it's not gonna get it. I don't know, guys. I don't know because with all the previews and stuff, what I'm hearing, like this game is like what what God of War 2018 was. But, like, it's better. It's better overall. So, it's like, I'm really sick. I can't wait. And uh, we are just 12 days away. So, with that said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of God of War Ragnarok. Are you guys excited for it? Are you guys going to pre-order? Are you guys getting it day one? Are you the type of player that's like, you know, I'll wait for a sale? Um, I'm definitely hyped. My hype level is like 11 out of 10. I cannot wait to play it. So, definitely want to check these videos out. I, uh, I'm getting back to the uh, swing of things. And I know I got a few more videos I need to make. But. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Uh, have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. And as always, I'll have links in the description below for my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. You guys know what to do. Um, I don't have to reiterate all the time. But yeah, I hope you guys be safe, Father. Be nice to each other. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.